Hi everyone, my name is Kai and welcome to our review for Force Positive, the latest um, horror and thriller film to come out from 84 Productions, directed by John Lee, starring Pierce Bronson, Ilana Glazer and also Justin Felix. So the premise for Force Positive is basically that a couple is trying to find, is basically having trouble uh, conceiving a baby and because of this they decide to reach out to Adrian, uh, his long lost kind of uh, mentor and teacher from uh, his time at university and medical school to help them find a way to conceive a baby because he's considered to be the best in the business of sorts. So straight off the bat I'm just going to say that False Positive is a film which I feel has a lot of, had a lot of potential but fell short so so much because of how the direction that it decides to go in and not just that but I feel like John Lee kind of he he wants to try multiple different things but ends up kind of going down the route of the predictable what you kind of guess what's kind of going on you don't really see the big twist and the big reveal as a bit of a you know shock factor as you would when it comes to other films but I feel like the actors it, actors and actresses who uh, play, who basically acted in this I thought was superb and did a superb job at the characters that they were given but it's just the story elements of the film which I feel really let down false positive from being a top um, just a stand up which I would have thought would have been a really good film for 2021 and a sleeper of sorts which people would have gone under the radar of if not um like watching it and not noticing about it but uh, when it comes to the positive of course i got to say that as i already mentioned the actors and actresses were superb i feel like the suspense uh was really high but that was also a bit of a low as well which i'll come into later uh beautifully shot just it was just basically the story elements of the film which really let this down for me i've got to say that when it comes to the kind of the tense themes of the film I feel like from 30 minutes on till pretty much the one hour and um 10 minute mark it's just nothing but suspense and the suspense doesn't really go anywhere in the direction which I thought it should do and because of this it lets the it lets the entire film down because you don't really get payoffs of it it's just suspense throughout and questions you know you have a lot of questions which don't really get answered and everybody kind of seems like they're in on it which i feel like kind of just lets the whole lets the whole film down um i feel like just when it comes to the story aspect i feel like they could have gone in a lot of different routes i feel like you know it kind of felt a bit like um not really Shutter Island, but it has that kind of vibe that, um, you know, everything's not really as it seems or that you don't really feel that the character is kind of having um, delusions of sorts and you don't really, you kind of feel like um, Alana's character is, I Ilana's character is basically like having, they called it a baby brain, where like, she's not really thinking straight and I feel like they really could have gone more into that um into that kind of territory instead of just like just going down the basic route saying oh you know you're just suffering from baby um bit a uh, baby brain and you know there's nothing to worry about but I feel like they really could have used that part of the film or, or her story um arc basically to kind of like capsulate the film in a in a greater detail uh, I feel like Piers Bronson does a terrific job. This is kind of his best film for me, which I've seen in a long time. He is mine. To, for me, Piers Bronson is my 007. I think he's better than Daniel Craig, sorry. But I feel like he does a really good job. Justin Felix, you know, he's the he's an actor who had a lot of potential. Loved him in uh, Charlie's Angels. I haven't seen The Mosquito Coast yet, but I, am, I actually do have it on. My laptop which I haven't yet seen but I feel like he he has a lot of potential which they don't really use. The standard performance of course is going to be Alana Glazer. I feel like she did a terrific terrific job 
gave her uh John Lee gave her kind of um aspects of Carrie where she has kind of all blood like kind of down herself and walking funny like she's kind of like possessed in some sorts and I feel like she does she was perhaps the stand up performance of this. Um but yeah overall I just feel like false positive is a big letdown. Um just doesn't really do which it it doesn't do it's not a film which you can really say to yourselves, you know, um I really I was really kind of like impressed with it. It's just a film which had a lot of potential, especially the thirty minutes, the first thirty minutes with everything going on, you know, it's really does he does a really good job at capsulating the dark themes and kind of the tension. But as the film progresses, you know, it starts getting more and more redundant and just not really a film which you can really say, oh, you know, you've got, you're not really going to your friends and saying you've got to see false positive, you've got to see the big twist because in reality, everybody's perhaps seen these twists a hundred times. It doesn't really go above and beyond and put its own foot stamp on like this kind of genre and really separating itself from the rest, I've got to say. But um, yep, uh, overall, False Positive is a half and half film. Good suspenseful, but no really end product. So because of that, I'm going to give False Positive a 5 out of 10. Um, let me know what you were thinking in the comment section below about False Positive. Did you like it? Did it live up to your expectations? Because I know some people think that it's going to be filmed a year. But yeah, uh, let me know what you all think in the comments section below. Oh, and I've also got to say a massive props to the nurse. I can't remember what her name is, but the actress who played the nurse, the kind of the main nurse of the film, I think she was terrific in the film. Um, but yeah, and also I've got to say that um, this Saturday and Sunday is going to be a mass amount of um, uploads because I've still got about nine or ten movies because of today's this uh, video is coming out on the 16th and space jam has just came out and also um the game what's it called escape room 2 has also came out so i need to get a lot of reviews and i need to watch a lot of films and hopefully there would also be a review coming out later uh today which might be peter rabbit hopefully but um thank you all uh, don't forget to leave a like share and subscribe and yeah, I'll see you all on my next video. Peace.